Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kristen and I moved to Nova Scotia in May 2021 with my husband Marcus and two children to create a mini homestead. In our first year we raised 90 meat chickens, meat rabbits, chickens for eggs and at the end of the year we started raising three pigs as well and we built a polytunnel, chicken coop, pig coop, rabbit tree and various rabbit and chicken tractors. Not too far from the heart, there's a star, oh have me. Welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to bring you along for the journey. Marcus and I have made some pretty cool plans for the new year, so we'll let you in on that. Um, and my job today, once I've poured the coffee out, is <laughs> to start clearing the end room. So it has been used, um, you've probably seen in a lot of the videos, we were using it last year when it was too cold to be outside and we were doing the um, rabbit hutches and things like that in it. So it's a bit of a mess. It's become a dumping ground because it's cut off from the end of the house. So it's not really getting the adequate love that it deserves. So um, hopefully we're gonna sort that out. So get myself together so as you come out of our kitchen you come into a corridor that goes around the original house so this bathroom was where the edge of the house was and then this corridor was put in to get to the back room what a mess we have in here this will be fun so our idea is to rejig this house so that we don't have seven square meters of corridor to go round a room. So we're also clearing this room out so that we can actually use it to work in. So we need to take out anything that we're not using. So we've just got that bit more room. Just things are just slowly gathered up in here and not being put away. So now the shed's sorted. We can do that. This wood was kept here so it was dry so we could use for a project. I think we're pretty much there with the projects. Marcus has just put another shelf in the top here and I've not been able to get to this cupboard because it's had stuff in front of it. So now I'm going to get in and get that sorted. So my little larder, the kitchen's not big enough to store things because it's got a double door, single door, massive window and a small window. Actually, there's very, very little cupboard space. So after I cleared my larder out, I realised I still had so much stuff that needed to come out to the shed. And where we'd used the shed during the rain and snow, uh, it then needed clearing out again. Obviously, it's very small space to work in. And <laughs> we're just doing too many projects at once, I think. So all of this needs clearing through, especially before the snow comes and buries everything. I started with clearing the big saw out so I could actually move in here wanted to get these cabinets out of the way, ready for doing the screw organisation so that things actually have a place to go away. If things have a place, then they're more likely to get put back. And then obviously just taking out any wood and clearing the space basically. So any wood that wasn't needed, I was able to chop up and take in for kindling. So yeah, quite useful, especially this time of the year. So a big improvement but it's still really just step one. I've managed to get the floor clear and things into piles so that we can sort of sort through them. We've got a massive bucket there of random fixings, nails and everything that I picked up the magnet. And really the screw roof situation is the biggest thing. Um, it's going through and put a system in place so that they're all kind of in one place and we know where they are. And hopefully if there is a place for them then they will get put away. At least that's the idea. 
So although everything's on this shelf, which we brought out of the back room, they're not really in any kind of order and there's a lot of empty pots, which I can't really sort through. I just need Marcus's guidance on what we're doing with them. But at least we can get to the back of the shed now the pig food is going down. Anyhow, I'm super pleased with this first day's progress. Quiet now, shivering. Are you shivering? He's a little cold. Look at the man. Look at the man. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's snowing. Now that I'm right here, but everything is messed up, and it What's today's plan? Uh, do whatever my boss tells me. <laughs> what, since when have you ever done that? <laughs> That'd be a novelty. Uh, since 18th of August 2007. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good to know you know when we're married. Um, so Marcus wants to sort out his screws. Uh, he's got labels made. So these two rows are empty bottles. He's got loads of stuff that needs to go away so he can actually find his temporary bench. And I think then before the real snow comes and the ice, we're going to get cleared up outside again. We had a busy day yesterday, um, sorting out the screws in the shed and the shelves, which we took one shelf out the back room. So we're trying to get things sort of sorted, so I just thought I'd show you an update. Feels pretty frozen. What we managed. So, bench is much, much better. Actually, got sort of difference between screws and nails and wafty stuff at the bottom. Um, pig food's going down. You can actually get in here a bit more. So, uh, yeah, super pleased with the progress in here. Uh, piggy food, which reminds me, I probably ought to feed the piggies. Happy pigs. And the chickens are coming out and stealing their food. Proof. Just put some hay down and some hay in their bed. They're not good at sharing. Pig got stuck. Come on, Gollum. Oh, no, there's a piece of wood. You gotta go around it, mate. He's going back for his cucumber. No. Well, he's trying to get in the shed. To still. Oh, he needs a bagel. I'll get him get a bagel. He knows where he's going. Just a pig and his bagel. You Just get it. Bagel across the yard by tomorrow. <laughs> you get it. You get it, piggy. You and me off the cliff. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no, <thanks. laughs> There you go. <laughs> so we have got this place a lot more tidy. Managed to get everything in one end so we've got plans for this year which involves us emptying this room as much as possible and uh this part here becoming a utility so we're not wasting seven square meters of hallway finally woke up to a decent amount of snow <clears throat> uh, happens to be the day i'm driving in it
too much exercise to make, Mummy. Snow shoveling and swimming and now ice skating. I know, and you're standing upright, which is very surprising. She hasn't fallen over once, and I feel like Oh, now she has. She jinxed. You jinxed it. She hasn't fallen over once. I know. Look, there you are. Come here, that's job. <laughs> okay, I guess we're shoveling again. Ha. Okay, this is take two. You got me facing the same way. We're gonna have a race, <laughs> yeah, rabbits. Oh, and here. Okay. Take care of that one. Ready? Place your bets. On your marks. Place your bets. Place the your bets. Lavi. Yeah. Charcoal. Where, where's the end? Here's the end. Okay. Go. Okay. No, hang on, hang on. There we go. There's the first end. one. The touch. I'm going for charcoal. Mummy's going for Lavi. Who are you going for? Um, Blackie. Go. Oh, oh, stripe! <laughs> and the hours don't move. Wait, you won, second. stripe. Where are you going? Oh, oh, oh. oh Lavi. Come Lavi on, Lavi. No, you'll get the wrong way, mate. <laughs> Yay! Lavi second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a rabbit gone. Someone grab the rabbit. Etty, I've lost the black one. Oh, it's gone down oh, to yeah. hasn't it? There. Got it. I had with the Here's bunny. Okay, so we had a first and second place, but um, that was about okay, it. Okay, go again. Line him up. No, he's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bet is on charcoal. <laughs> no, I'm betting on stripe here. Stripe. Right, well, that one's disqualified. Disqualified. Ready? Go, stripe, go. I'm lavender. I'm on stripe. <laughs> <laughs> go, stripe, go on. Go on, Stripe. Oh, that's it. I have an ear scratch. No. I had a real full on shower here. Come on, Stripe. Wrong, no, Stripe, wrong direction. <laughs> I'm still safe enough. Yay! Oh, yeah, he's not gone over the line, though. He's just you sniffed it. To there move. we go. Yeah, that's not how <laughs> 